Members of Congress took steps today to solidify abortion rights into law. The House passed two bills which would restore abortion rights nationwide, but the bills aren't expected to get past the Senate. This as women and doctors adjust to a post-Roe America. ABC's Raina Roy has more. The bill is passed. For the first time in the post-Roe era, the House passing legislation to fight the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Our pro-choice, pro-women Democratic majority stands resolute. We will take further action to defend women's reproductive freedom. The Women's Health Protection Act and Ensuring Women's Right to Reproductive Freedom Act are a pair of bills meant to restore and protect abortion rights for American women. Every single American has the right and the freedom to make the health care decisions that they need, including abortion. Democrats' abortion agenda is much more radical than anything that was in row, we stand on the side of life. It's unlikely they'll become law with the bills expected to fail in the Senate. Overturning Roe versus Wade was a historic occasion that signals a new beginning for millions of unborn American babies. I'm looking forward to informing the American public why the Supreme Court's decision is a positive development for our country. So far, at least 13 states have seized nearly all abortion services, including Ohio, where officials say a 10-year-old girl was raped, impregnated, and forced to leave Ohio to get an abortion. The attorney general of Indiana announcing an investigation into the doctor who performed the abortion in that state for potentially failing to report the rape and the abortion, even though records show the doctor did file a termination of pregnancy report. The doctor's attorney saying she has not violated any law and that they're considering legal action against those who have smeared her name. And all of this is happening as the state of Texas sues the Biden administration after the White House wrote a letter to hospitals this week reminding doctors that they are protected by federal law to terminate a pregnancy as part of emergency treatment. Planned Parenthood slamming the lawsuit saying the consequences will be devastating. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.